Alright, um, here's a, gonna be the first video up on the channel. It's a new one. Gonna be doing a farm overview on this, uh, video. Anyway, just gonna, going back here real quick, showing you something, some old equipment that we're gonna be pulling out soon. There is an old bush hog right there, but we're not gonna be even looking at that. Might be taking parts off of it. But I'm um, coming back here. We got a tire and then we got this, uh, forget what it's called. Can't remember now. But I'm um, gonna be pulling this out, using it probably. Looking to get a new tractor. My tractor's out there. Um, I, I work on this farm. The lady that owns it pays me and uh she's looking into getting a new tractor like a John Deere big one and uh I'm gonna be running it probably if she gets it but there's other equipment in there too but this is my tractor it's Kubota it's small but anyway just gonna take you around the farm real quick So, hang on. So coming through here, kind of gone through here. We pulled out an old tiller back here, and you got some metal over there. But we pulled out an old tiller. Some guy uh, made a deal with us, he made a weld on a tractor, so we gave it to him. Look, it's pretty old. You can actually just push your finger right through it. There's a fence, but the lady owns all this property. There's 70 acres. She used to have about eight horses out here. She only got two left, and they're both hers. But um, got all this open land out here, and then you got this pond over here. There used to be another pond out here, but it goes all the way over there and it goes back there. So yeah, it's like a U shape. And there's a gator in there, he's going to pull it out one day, not really too sure. We got a whole bunch of stuff back over there, like boats and trailers, and all kinds of stuff, and I'll take it back there one day. But, I'll show you, I'm just going to take a quick overview of this farm, and I'll show you everything about it. There's a lagoon back here, and I'll take you to that right now. All this down here has already been cut, I cut all that with a different tractor, not this one. I don't have the bush hog for it yet. I'm looking into getting one, but I don't know if you guys can give it to me. I still gotta cut all this out here with it. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I cut all that about a week ago. And that's thick, this grass right here. All this grass right here is really thick. And the bush hog is gone in the back of the John Deere. It's just, it's too small, and it's just too thick for it, so, in the gearbox it will actually start uh, smoking because it's just so thick, and it's a really horrible smell when that smoke coating gets to you, but, you gotta do a high cut, sometimes it doesn't even high cut it or it starts smoking, and uh, what, if you get a high cut done, then you go back and do a low cut, or a medium cut, depending on how thick, and then it, it starts smoking. But somebody's cut, I've cut back here. I gotta cut all this back here. I will have videos up of me running that John Deere. Some back here, some, somebody, uh, I don't know if it is the guy that owns this property, but I think it is. He owns this all this lagoon out here. I've gone fishing out there a couple times with a boat over there. You can see it right through the, the bushes. I'm sure there are a couple gators out there, but I'm not really too sure. Nice fishing out there. Just a couple fish jump. Now we're back. 
So that goes over a little bit more. This property is 70 acres. And um, well, uh, a little bit of it. There is a part of it that was going into foreclosure. The exact question of the lady didn't uh, pay on that land. That's so going into foreclosure, so it's about probably like 60 or 55 acres now. So you guys cut all that. There is a ditch right there where it's really high. There's a ditch and uh, we have a guy, he has a grade all and he brought it out here and he had some guys uh, do some work for him on there. And uh, he did an actually really nice job. He did have this all cleaned up a really long time ago before I worked here. And now uh, they just let it go and uh, trying to keep it back, trying to cut it back all down, trying to gonna maybe keep it cut nice. But anyway, it's a little rough, but she's alright. Little hole there. So it is all cut out here. Little bumper. This actually used to be um, a grapefruit and a orange peel. This all got cut by me. All this got cut. So the reason why there is some still sucking up because there are stumps there and that bush hog won't take them stumps too well. Uh, we have a big wing plow that we used to cut it but it's not here right now. That's the guy that owns the other track in the office. Um, there's a part of the wing plow over there but you can see all this. Not bad. All this out here is all cut. Got to cut again soon. And back here you have some more water. It goes over there, the dock over there, but it's falling apart. It's scary. And it goes over there as well. Now it's going to take it back on over this way. This tractor is on. I use it a lot over here. Uh, little stuff and then also big stuff, but it gets the job done. John Deere's over there with another track that's in the weeds, so I'll take you that last. I'm going to show you something. We're complaining for the horse. Tractor. Anyway, come on up here. We got a push hog right here that we're going to pull out and maybe fix up. I don't know what we're going to do yet. It's not ours. It's the guy that owns this property, the ex-husband. But I think we're going to pull it out and maybe fix it, possibly. And then, the guy that's leasing out here. Those are his tires, but all this other crap out here. That's the guy that owns this property. But the guy that's leasing, that's his tires. A couple other things. And, um, we got two bush hogs right here. This one right here is actually brand new, pretty much, but the guy... The guy, uh, he was cutting with it. He said there's something slipping in here in the gearbox or a housing or up here. I forget where it was, but he told me. And, uh, he told me it was slipping, and he broke the weld on this piece right here. And you can see where he welded it here. It was almost brand new when he put it out here. And he said it was slipping, so he just threw it out here, and he never bothered to fix it. And the wheel's missing on it, but I'm going to see if I can talk to him about getting it. There used to be a old Ford sitting here, and uh, some guys took it out. I got a video of them taking that out, and uh, took some other stuff out of here, but I'm just going to go finish up real quick. Got a big John Deere loader over there, which will take it to you real quick. That's uh, just kind of throw shit out of here. Anyway, there's a John Deere loader. It's old, don't work anymore. They pulled it here, leaking all hydraulic oil all over the road. And the engine cap's on the other side. Got a couple boats. John Deere. Anyway, coming along over here, all this crap out here is owned by the ex husband trailers. 
I'm trying to, I'm gonna see if I can convince him to sell some of this stuff so we can get some more money for like a brand new tractor or some other stuff. But yeah, we just got, there's so much crap out here that just got flows out here and it's just rotten. And back where I showed you that uh, one piece of equipment in the woods, there's a, a couple other pieces back there, some old bush hogs that, um, I don't know if they're in decent condition. I haven't been back there in a while, a couple years. But this is the old wing plow. There's one of them. There's a part that he's using it for. The blades are on this side. It's pretty much part. He dragged it out here from over there. And stuff is missing over here. This saw doesn't even have the cylinder to pull this wing up, so it don't work that well. Come around over here. You can see how big the place is. I was doing a little bit of work out here with the horse that I was cutting a little bit. Anyway, here's one of the old tractors that they used to use before I started working here. I forget what, what brand it is, but I'm um, really old, old. Anyway, it's just, they just parked in here because something was going wrong with it and parked it to rot. The bush hog in the back still works perfectly fine. It's a, it was a, jo oh, my bad. It was a John Deere. John Deere bush hog had a little bit of rust here and there, but it still works, she said. So we're gonna take it off one day. That there's an arena for it. Stalls over there. Hurricane beat the crap out of them. Circle pen. And here's the big old John Deere. Give me a sec. No, oh, no, escape. Got the key on the Catch keys. But anyway, big old John Deere right here. Six six two fifteen John Deere. Nice one. Give you a little comparison of my tractor compared to it. I run that big John Deere every once in a while, like cut out here once it gets a little bit too high, but they'll just let it go and so I'm trying to cut her back now. Um anyway, here's the bush hog on the back that we're using. It starts once it gets too thick back there, it starts smoking from in, in here, and just smokes and smokes. Once, uh, I guess I ran it too hard back there, so it just started smoking and smoking. And I turned it off, and I was driving around trying to cool it off, and she wouldn't cool off, so I just kind of ran around for a little bit longer, parked her, and she's still smoking, so I just left her, came back the next day, she was fine. Actually, a couple hours, it was stop, stopped us. Uh, smoking but um John Deere I do got some videos of me bush hogging so anyway I'm gonna get out of here time to go home dark anyway so yeah there's the farm overview video and I'll be getting more videos out to you so see ya